Hi, my name is Helen and I am the AP Statistics teacher here at Young Scholars Institute. Um, I'm here to talk to you about what the AP Stats test is and what it would be like if you would take it. Um, so AP Statistics is about data organizing. So as you've experienced in lower levels of math where you found the mean, median, mode, all you're doing is collecting data and explaining what the numbers really mean. So in the AP test, pretty much all you're doing is using formulas that are provided for you um, and you are using the numbers and then interpreting it in a way where you'll see it in the multiple choice questions where they intricately explain all the multiple choice answers or in the free response questions where you have to explain it yourself. So some strategies to study for this test would be um, looking over all of your materials in class, but most importantly, practice. So here we provide a bunch of practice tests for you to practice all the different types of sections that you've uh, learned throughout the year. If you were taking the test, how can you be so sure that you got the right free response answer? Uh, many students are um, scared to write too much or they write too little but the best way to explain the problems is make sure that you include the context of the problem include the numbers that you found and be sure that in the conclusion you can explain this to someone who's never taken statistics and they should get an idea of what you're trying to conclude based off of that last sentence for example, in hypothesis testing, um, when you're saying you reject HO, you don't just end it there, right? You have to say, because p-value is less than the significance level, we reject HO, therefore we conclude that you have significant evidence to support context of the problem. So your teacher should have already provided you some sort of guideline to explaining certain types of problems and we will also be here to help you do that um, so that you're prepared to explain everything on the free response questions. As for the multiple choice parts of the AP stats test, it's exactly as if you were to explain it in the free response except they will try and confuse you by rearranging the words. So. Hopefully with a bunch of practice that you receive inside and outside of class, you can master the techniques of looking at what is a right or wrong response, and you can study on your own and pass the test then.